Well, thanks a lot for inviting me to come out. It's always wonderful and great to go to the Greater San Juan Chamber of Commerce General Membership Lunch. Way to go. Points for that. And we really appreciate the chance to, to come in front of the group today and talk about uh, the IO P-TECH Network. P-TECH uh, stands for Pathways to Technology Early College High School. And it's really about connecting education starting in high school with high growth, well paying jobs in the state of Idaho. Uh, the model was based on one that started in Brooklyn, New York. And in New York, they, the kids that go into the school actually start in ninth grade. They're on uh, track to a technology associate's degree. So within the same brick and mortar school building, they start in ninth grade, they go four years, then they go two years for an associate's degree in the same school building. And they have one corporate partner at IBM that uh, then works with them on uh, internships, job shadows, you know, ways to get them into the workplace so that the kids can see what the job's about, and then at the end, to be able to get a job interview for a, a job. This model was picked up by the Albertsons Foundation, the J.A. and Catherine Albertsons Foundation in Boise. And they liked what the model looked like for Brooklyn. Um, and so, uh, Almost, uh, I think in February, Jim, it'll be two years ago, they put out a request for proposal to schools and organizations in Idaho that would take this model and then try to build similar schools in Idaho. That was their first concept. Um, locally, there was a, a consortium that was, that was put together. It included the Forestburg Charter School, the uh, North Idaho College as the college partner, the Idaho Aerospace Alliance, uh, you know, our local uh, aerospace manufacturers, also Idaho Distance Education Academy, which is a statewide virtual charter school, and uh, Cisco Systems that does hardware for uh, computer networking. We're involved in that original proposal. It was submitted to Albertsons and Boise, and out of those proposals, the foundation quickly realized that the original model, which was to build schools in towns in Idaho, wouldn't really work for Idaho because we're too spread out. We don't really have a population density of either kids or employers that was really going to fit that model. We didn't have any big, huge corporate icons like IBM, and we didn't have enough uh, kids in one place. And so they, they chose the team that really is based here in Sandpoint to move ahead with modifying that model to fit Idaho. And that's a little bit what we'll talk about today, about how it works. But ultimately, it is really about making this connection in between students and education and what education is needed to get jobs uh, that you can really support a family on in Idaho. So you may have heard, because there is, uh, for the last couple of years, there's been quite a bit of buzz around the state for it. The State Board of Education in Idaho has selected 60% as a goal for uh, 2020 that citizens aged uh, 24 to 25 to 34, that 60% of them would have some type of post-secondary degree. Currently in our state, we're about 34 to 36%, so this is a really big goal, but it basically relates to what's the future job forecast. Bridget could probably give you some more information. The uh, Department of Labor has been very involved in trying to project what does the future economy of our state look like and what kind of workers are going to be needed. When we look out you know, at that 2020 goal, 60% of the workforce, the jobs that we'll need at that time, will need to have post-secondary education. So it's, it's a mission that the state's been behind before. In our industries that I'll, I'll get into in a little bit, but we have uh, career tracks with PTEC in 2018, which is a couple years before that, we're projecting 39,000 jobs of all different education levels in those industries, and 1,500 specifically with the associate's degrees and the certificates that we're doing with PTEC that will be available at that time. You know, really, there's, there's, there's a lot of moving parts to what is PTEC or what are we trying to do. One of the goals is to really have a... a <clears throat> ability to affect change in our economy. We lead the rest of the nation in some statistics that aren't necessarily very good. One of them is we are number one in per capita number of people in the state that have a minimum wage job. And 725 is very hard to support a family on. And so, you know, if we, if we collectively as a state want to change that, 
then we need to be able to make this connection in between education and Idaho. And it's not just a workforce development exercise, it's really about our kids. Because when you think about the, our kids that are in school every day, and what's the goal of education, isn't the goal of education ultimately to lead to a higher quality of life, a better quality of life? Maybe the one that they grew up in, one that they can aspire to, or have some connections that they can uh, you know, have a better chance at opportunities that come up in the state. And that's what really uh, the Idaho Tech Network's about. Why don't we have more kids that go on and finish college? Some of the barriers that we're trying to address with P-TECH, one is cost. Um, I know Jim's going to really go and do financial counseling. I think you guys just talked about financial um, education that you do at the high school. I think you guys would agree that when you start to talk about just both working with kids on financial, um, financially educating them, if you will, and then talking about going on to college, there's a gap, and, and some of the gap is perception. You know, I, I can't afford that. How am I going to get there? My parents never went to college. How can I make that jump into there? So that's one of the barriers that we're addressing with the P-TECH Network. The other one is lack of a clear pathway. When, when we did uh, design work and had books groups with kids throughout the state, and we asked kids, you know, what are you going to do next year? A lot of them said, oh, I'm going to go on to college. What are you going to major in? I don't know. I, just, I, I know I need to go on to college. If the kids said, I'm just going to go get a job, would ask them, where are you going to go work? And a lot of times, even their perception or their awareness of where could they go get a job with a high school degree was limited to the places that they shop. So they'd say, you know, Burger King or, or Target or, you know, some place like that. And so they're almost pre-selecting, even though they might live in a town that has an employer like Quest Aircraft or, uh, you know, Kachava, as an example. They don't even know within their own town where might they go if they have the education needed to be able to go get that job. And so being able to uh, make connections for the kids and even show them what could you do, and if you choose to do this, what education do you need and how do you get there, that awareness and that pathway is a huge barrier that we're trying to address. So with P-TECH, we're offering students a debt-free path, and that relates to tuition. So we pay for tuition. The first part of P-TECH is dual enrollment college courses in high school that are delivered electronically We pay for that tuition. We also pay for their tuition once they matriculate into community college. We don't pay for, for housing or food, but we do pay for the tuition part of that. So we're trying to eliminate or reduce some of that uh, potential cost for them. And then also being able to, con to connect them with employers. You know, our traditional career path, uh, or education path, no matter which way we go, is, you know, you're kind of on your own to a certain degree. You go and you get your education, and then it's up to you as an individual to go and find, where can I work, where the employers with P-TECH, we're out developing, in fact, that's my, it's kind of a, a fancy job title. What it really means is my job is to go out and engage businesses in Idaho and understand what do they need in their future workforce, how can they help us better identify how do we educate kids to that standard, and then work with us on giving them a job interview. We're not asking for a guarantee that they'll employ them for sure, because the onus is really on us to provide a significant value or difference in the applicants that they get today to be able to show them at the end of that pipeline when they interview them. Our goal is to say, this is great. This is exactly what, what we want. We've got a long ways to get there, but we've started, and that's ultimately our goal. <coughs> I've got a video that shows what p -Tech's about way better than I can say it, and here we go. The Idaho p -Tech Network connects education to industry. Idaho's economy needs a skilled workforce, not just four-year college graduates, but employees that have the professional technical skills needed to succeed today. The Idaho p -Tech Network connects the skills needed by industry to skills taught in school. We're focused on making career pathways accessible across this beautiful state. We offer students access to living wage careers and employers a pipeline of qualified candidates by connecting the dots between high school, community college, and job placement. We support students through three big transitions. Choose a career path, stay on a path to college, get a job. In early high school, students are exploring. Their aspirations change day to day. Through hands-on events and online tools, 
we help students discover career options and choose a P-TECH pathway in a high-growth Idaho industry like healthcare, technology, or aerospace. By 11th grade, when students enter P-TECH, they are thinking more pragmatically about their future. 11th and 12th grade P-TECH students take a mix of regular high school classes and online college courses. P-TECH advisors help students stay on track, support them on team projects, and connect them to on-the-job experiences. P-TECH students are seamlessly enrolled in college, so this transition feels simple, with no cost to the student. In college, students are independent and concerned about how they will support themselves. P-TECH prepares students for jobs with hands-on courses and an industry internship. P-TECH advisors help students navigate the challenges of college life, and a P-TECH recruiter matches them with a career. Each student graduates with a P-TECH package, a set of industry-approved credentials, and most importantly, a job. Join us and support the future of Idaho's skilled workforce. Thank you.